Hello everybody, a little bit of an unconventional episode today. We're just going to have a few words about one of our absolute favourite Hong Kong actors, Leslie Chung. 20 years since his passing, very, very sad, one of the most iconic stars of Hong Kong cinema. What a career he had, so many movies that he did and there's so many fans of his work out there and his music as well. Mm, Absolutely yeah. fantastic. He was a man who wore many faces and um, wore them well. He was truly, truly iconic and he is missed by legions of Hong Kong movie fans. And just to share with you, we thought we'd show you, oh, there's the Chung collection. I think we've gathered it all up here, Shaz. I think so. Right. Would you like to dive in and show the guys some of our disc that we have? Yeah. Absolutely. First up, He's a Woman, She's a Man, that we reviewed not so long ago. Great film, this. Mm. And, um, you know, there's parts in that film that really showed a bit of a reflection of Leslie's life, which, you know, he had a bit of a troubled life and um, mm. struggled with certain elements there. And, uh, yeah, that's a sad shame, but, you know, his performance in this is absolutely wonderful. And also, one of the first films I think I ever came across with Leslie Chung was A Chinese Ghost Story. So we have the box set here, and Leslie's in ports one and two. Absolutely fantastic. It's iconic Hong Kong cinema. And um, it's another gift from Leslie to us, to all us Hong Kong movie fans. Absolutely magic trilogy. What else do we have there, Shaz? This one. Double tap. Mm -hmm. Double tap. That was one of the first ones I think I put on for you. Right. We saw triple tap actually first, and yeah, then yeah. and then we went back. We got double tap, double tap, and you were much more impressed with double tap because obviously Leslie was just such a fantastic performer. Mm -hmm. I like the way he can switch roles. He can he can be the bad boy. He can be the nice guy. Yeah. He can be the cop, he can be a bit more softer, you know, romantic roles. You know, just, just a part of who he was. So very versatile and adaptable. We also have Shanghai Grand with Leslie Chung and Andy Lau. And as most of you know out there, Leslie worked with all the big names mm -hmm. in Hong Kong cinema. And uh, yeah, it's fun to get those two icons on screen together. So next we have Eagles shooting eagles and ashes of time. As a lot of you guys out there will know, Wong Kar Wai and Jeff Lau. This one was made by Jeff Lau with the same cast of Ashes of Time at the same time. I think it was produced by Wong Kar Wai so that he could fund this film because he was taking a long, long time making Ashes of Time. Right. And uh, the cast were transferred to that and this one actually made a lot more money so typical. yeah <laughs> typical both great films in their own right and both have stunning performances from leslie chung and talking of chinese new year films we have this one it's a wonderful life yeah which i believe we mentioned this i think so yeah i think we might have covered this somewhere might have been in our recommendations one of our recommendation videos and a lot of you guys would possibly have found Leslie Chung maybe first in The Bride of White Hair. This is an iconic one and it's had a really nice re-release from Eureka. This is a great film, directed by Ronnie Yu. And I always thought the chemistry between Leslie and Bridget mm -hmm. Lane was absolutely fantastic in this. There was also a Bride of White Hair too, which we have the Tai Seng DVD of here. Again, really, really good. Mm -hmm. Just showing that Leslie could do tough as well, you know, playing a swordsman. He looked great in that role as well. He's also in Rouge. Love that film. Stanley Kwan. They need to Mui in it with Leslie Chung. And two iconic singers, two iconic mm -hmm. actors. Absolutely fantastic. Sort of love girl story. This is a Criterion Blu-ray and it's really nice to capture one of Leslie's true classics on this. It just mm. shows what range he had as an actor. Absolutely remarkable film. And we also have Inner Senses, which was one of yeah. these last films 
think we might have had a slightly troubled Leslie at this point in this film, but this is still a cracking film and would really like to see a nice blue released over here in the UK right. this, that would be fantastic. And we have Farewell My Concubine. Directed by Chen Kaigi. Mm. Nice um, BFI edition yeah. there. Good when we get like mm. a nice edition over in the UK or wherever you happen to be based locally. But yeah, that is a great film. Classic art house stuff there from Leslie Chung. We also have Moonlight Express. Really, really good film. Could do with a nice update of that one. For your heart only. I like that. I think it's ever so cute. The romance in that between Laletta Lee and Leslie Chung. It's, um, you know, a slightly little bit goofy on the comedy side, but I like it. It's a good fun film. We have the John Woo classic, Once a Thief, where Leslie was teamed up with Chai Yun Fat and Sherry Chung. And there's a bit of a love triangle in that. And uh, yeah, lovely film. Absolutely fantastic classic John Woo. And then A Better Tomorrow. And who doesn't love A Better Tomorrow? <laughs> we also have somewhere a Fortune Star box set of Better Tomorrow 1, 2 and 3. So as you might know, Leslie was in part 2 as well, but not part 3. And uh, this is a remastered Blu-ray and uh, I'm sure at some point these will probably get UK yeah. releases, which would be really, really nice. He was also in a couple of the films we have in this world of Wong Kar Wai collection. Days of Being Wild and Happy Together. And of course we covered this box set with your mum, didn't we? The Senior, the consultant. senior consultant. And that was a great series of videos we did with your mum. Yeah, if you haven't watched those yet, please go back and watch them. Uh, mum would be really, really happy because uh, she gave her a little six pence worth on that and really enjoyed the whole series. Another nice little oddity I have is when I was over in Hong Kong, I actually managed to pick up this box set. It's a Leslie Chung Shaw Brother box set. And um, it's got Behind the Yellow Line, which is a nice little drama with Leslie, Maggie Chung, Nita Mui's in there as well. That's a fantastic film. If you've never seen that one, I highly recommend it. And we've got Teenage Dreamers, which is another mm. sort of Hong Kong sort of ro romance type of film. And the, the third one in here is Little Dragon Maiden, AKA Brave Archer part five, okay. which um, it's gonna be in the box set that's being released by Shout Factory soon of the Brave Archer films. So it'd be nice to see that upgraded mm. onto mm. Blu-ray. But seriously guys, um, we know there's a lot of love for Leslie out there and we know so many of us miss him and his films and his performances and uh please share what was your first encounter with leslie chung what still stays with you today what really stands mm. out for you drop us a comment below we'd really love to hear we'd like to get a little conversation going with everybody here and uh it would be really nice for everybody to mm. share you know especially at this time thank you everybody for watching this short sort of off the wall video we really appreciate being able to share this with you and um we will catch you on the next one